Hello, I'm Tom Rouse and welcome to another video on my channel. These videos now are going to be short, snappy updates on what's going on at the club and today there is something to talk about. I didn't expect, I didn't anticipate to be making a video this early in the summer, in the transfer window, in the off season, but it's been quite a big news story that's come out of Molyneux today and that is that Paul Lambert is threatening to quit his position as manager over a disagreement over the transfer policy in the summer. The disagreement reportedly has been that Fosun and George Mendes are going to be bringing in another influx of foreign players. And Paul Lambert's not happy about that. He has had targets in mind. Tom Lawrence, Tammy Abraham, Grant Handley, been three names that have been bandied around recently, who have been top players in the Championship this season. And if we can add those sort of players to our squad, then I think we'll be able to really mount a strong promotion challenge next season. However... There must have been meetings now this week between Fosun, Mendes and Lambert about the players that are going to be brought in over the summer. And last season we saw, despite a late takeover, we saw an influx of about 13 players in two or three weeks. And of all those 13 players, most of them were brought in by Mendes. Two of them have been a success, Cavaliero and Costa. So many of those players, Tashira, Ola John, Borthwick Jackson were all flops. They didn't cut the mustard. Then, with Lambert coming in in October time, he signed Vyman and Marshall in January. And that was it. Of course, Duckins and on as well. But two players who came into the team, affected the team, and made a positive impact and dragged us away from relegation. You can probably already tell by the way I'm speaking, but I'm firmly coming down on the side of Paul Lambert. If... Paul Lambert, the manager, who at the end of the day will get the sack if results don't go our way. If he hasn't got the final say on players coming into the club, then I back him in leaving. And I also then worry about the future of our club. Are we going to become a club run by George Mendes? Because then either we're going to be left with good players who are eager to get a move elsewhere, like Costa... Or we're going to be left with second-rate players who are going to be not as good as players out there who Lambert has actively been trying to get. I think it's a really, really difficult situation for Lambert because at the moment at the Wolves, it's a quite an exciting place to be, I imagine. Lots of money to be able to spend. Being linked with players who have been a success in the Championship this season and have been promoted to the Premier League as well, I think it just shows the ambition that Lambert has got and he understands the division. I back him. I would... You know, I know that lots of people don't like him and think that his style of football is negative and that, you know, perhaps we're going backwards. But would you rather have Paul Lambert in signing cha proven championship players or would you rather have a Portuguese journeyman who we've now been linked with coming in and having loads of George Mendes boys thrown at him? So the point of this video is to get your opinion. I've given you mine. I'm on the side of Lambert. If he hasn't got the final say then why be a manager? You can't work miracles with tough players. Second of all, I just just thinking now, where does Kevin Thelwell fit into all this? I think this just shows or provides further evidence to perhaps that he will be being sacked soon because surely he should be part of the recruitment process. And where is he? If the option is George Mendes players or Paul Lambert players, what is Kevin Thelwell's job? So I'd just like to get your opinions on it. I've got lots of Wolves fans who subscribe to me. Please let me know, are you Lambert in, are you Lambert out, are you Mendes in, Mendes out, Fosa now, I've got a lot to answer for in the next couple of weeks, and depending on who they back, but I would urge them to back Paul Lambert, a manager who's been there, who's done it, who's got promoted, who's worked wonders in a way this season, I know it's not been a great season, but the players that we've got are poor, and we finished where we expect to finish, if you bring in 13 players, in two weeks, if you will sack a, if you will well, sack a proven championship manager, get in a manager who's been managed at every club in the world, sack him, get Lambert in, and then sack him because he doesn't want to sign the players that you want to sign, or let him leave because of that. I think that's really poor management, and I do not want Wolves to become another club like Blackburn, Lake Orient, Blackpool, who are mismanaged down and down and down. Fosun have got to look at themselves now. They're very early in their tenure still, but if they keep mismanaging and making silly mistakes like this, then we are going to be a Blackpool or a Blackburn or a Leighton Orient. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
I don't know when the next video will be because these videos are going to be just as and when things happen. So it could be tomorrow or it could be in a few days time once things have settled down perhaps and maybe Lambert will stay. There are rumours apparently that he's going back to Norwich. Wolves fans have got to be on the ball, I think, to put pressure on them to do the right thing straight away. We've seen these clubs go down to the dogs. We need to make sure that we don't let our great club do the same. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to this channel. There's all sorts of videos coming up. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.